Hey guys, my name is Elusive, and today I'm going to show you how to install the 64-bit version of T Mod Loader. Now, this is after the 1.4 update, obviously by the date I'm uploading this, but it is not 1.4 content. T Mod Loader has not updated to 1.4 content, and for 64-bit to update to 1.4 content, they are waiting for the original T Mod Loaders to do that. So, I don't know how long that is out. I think it's still a few more months. I hope it comes out soon. But anyway, for those of you for those of you that are going to ask cuz I know there're going to be a few, this wallpaper is from Wallpaper Engine and the specific one is called Beneath the Stars with You. And you can get Wallpaper Engine from Steam. I think it's 4 or $5. So, I honestly think it is absolutely worth it. It has beautiful wallpapers and it's amazing. But I kind I tend to customize my things a lot, so that's why I love it. But anyway, let's get back to installing. So first, what you want to do is you want to go to Steam, Library. You want to go to Team Mod Loader. You want to right-click Properties, go to Local Files, and then you want to hit Verify Integrity of Game Files. Now, if you already have 64-bit version downloaded and you're just wondering how to update it, you do need to do this too. But anyway, after that... Uh, you can just keep this up. Now, I do have a Steam skin, so this is going to look different from yours, but overall, the same ideas is the same of verifying and then browsing. But anyway, you want to go to the Discord that I have linked in the bottom. You'll be in the roles channel. You want to go to the Tmod64 installation channel, and then you should see it, uh, all the written guides about it, and you can do this if you want to. Just stop this and go look at that. But anyway, what you're going to do is where it says download the Tmod Loader 64-bit files, you want to click that, hit yep, and then you should be taken here to a GitHub. Now, you should see something that says point eleven point seven point eight point one, or whatever version you're looking at at the time of this video. You know, maybe a month from now, it might be 11.7.8.2. But anyway, same kind of concept applies. You want to scroll down you'll see assets if you don't see the downloads you just want to click the assets button and you should see the downloads now now there's tmodder 64 bit.zip and then there's tmodder x64 vulcan.zip now if you have an amd gpu you want to get the vulcan one that's going to help with your performance a lot over an nvidia gpu but if you have an nvidia gpu or any other one you want to get the normal one right here which i have an nvidia so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and open this and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here where it says local files go to browse now you can close it what you're gonna do is you're gonna select everything in the zip drag it into the team on loader folder and then it should ask if you want to replace anything go ahead and hit replace should be good now now what i like to do is I like to get the 64bit.exe and pin it to start. Now you can pin it to your taskbar, your start. You can make a shortcut and put it on your desktop. Either way, what you need to do is you need to start tmodloader 64bit.exe. So there's a way you can add it to your Steam library, which I'm going to show you now. You just go back to Steam, and you should see in the top left, you should click the menu, or it might be in the top right for normal Steam. Either way, where it says like, view friends, things like that, then you want to go to add a non-steam game or add a non-steam game to your library and then you want to hit browse and then you want to go to your team all that are folder which mine is on my SSD you want to go to the these last few files should be the f folder pass should be the same for mostly everyone you want to go to steam apps common team mod loader now if you install team mod loader in a custom place you just want to go there and where it says 64bit.exe, the team mod loader one, click that, and then you should be able to add selected programs. And then what you can do, my was already added, so I'll just go ahead and remove this one. But anyway, what you can do now from there is add it to your favorites. And what you can do is now launch it from Steam, and it should be okay. Now, for those who that are wondering if it works with multiplayer, yes, you can do it with multiplayer. You need to make sure your friends have 64-bit installed to be able to handle the mods that you're obviously needing 64-bit for. And you just want to go to your team on Litter folder and start the 64-bit server.exe. Or you can join peer-to-peer -peer once you get into team on Litter. It's the same. Just make sure people have 64-bit. I'm not sure if that is... 
a hundred percent needed but i would just suggest it it's much easier especially if you're doing a lot of mods you're probably gonna need it but anyway guys that's basically it if you guys have any questions make sure to leave a comment and i will try my best to answer them as well as maybe someone in the comments knows the answer to your issue and they can help you out but other than that if you guys did enjoy it and if you guys if it did help you guys hit that like button hit that subscription button it really does help out a lot and i'm going to be trying to record more in the upcoming future i'm actually working on a few videos that i hope you guys will like so other than that uh i will see you guys next time